Previously on Baron Plays the Forest. I'm using that as a waypoint to kind of mark it. I also have this home waypoint to help me find my way back home. But we're gonna go exploring um, this side of the island. This was a bad decision. The spider, there was like babies, man. The hell is that about? This makes me wonder, on this island, Who's in charge? Is it the like humanoid type cannibals? And those beasts are like what they've created? Or were they birthed by that kind of a thing? Oh god, that was close. Look at the mutant babies, dude. They're mutant babies with like. Oh, I mean, really? Mutant. Oh, little baby worms. Some freaky stuff, man. And to think I was so like naive and like I'm gonna crash land on their island and I'm not gonna fight with them and they won't want to fight with me and we can be friends. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and yes, we are back at Fort Wilderness, a rather humble fortress we have created. I have named. We're on the Floridian Peninsula that has been named. We built the bridge and we have the island. And for the last couple of episodes, I've been asking you guys what should it be named because this is an interactive series. And every now and then, I will ask some questions to kind of like make it a little more fun for me. But hey, the last two episodes I forgot to set the mood, so let's do that real quick. Alright, so I'm going to cook this lizard. And um, let's check Where's my inventory. Pretty good. Alright, so while that's being cooked, so I've gotten literally hundreds of comments on what the island should be named. Some of them are hilarious, some of them are serious and kind of witty, others are kind of just silly. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, like, that's one of my favorite things, is asking a question and getting feedback like that. Like, it really makes this series just, like, that much more enjoyable for me, making it. Um, but... So I'll kind of have that in the background. I'm going to read off a list. I wrote a bunch of them down. But like I said, I got hundreds. And I thank you guys for that. But some of the names. Ellis Island. Respite Island. Alcatraz. Alcatraz was probably the most named one. Um, it. Hello, buddy. It, there were so many comments for Alcatraz. Um, the Island of Honor. We, here's a good one. Because I've made a lot of... I make a lot of little references to like the shows and kind of video games and lore that I enjoy. And this one was Numenor because I make a lot of Lord of the Rings references. And Numenor is the island of the first men in Lord of the Rings. And I make a lot of Game of Thrones references. So there was Bravos, Tahiti was mentioned, Hell Island, Island of Doom, Iron Island, another uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, Survival Island, Valkyrie Isle, Mini Iwo Jima. I guess he'd watched my Men of War series. Is that a torch in the background? No. Alright, let's see. We've got Fap Island. Yeah, that's that was one of the suggestions. I wonder what they plan on us doing over there. We have uh, Baron Island, Baronia Island, Bloodstone Island, Fallback Island. Someone named it the Ark, and I still think that one's pretty cool. Um, Pen Island. Take a moment and just picture the spelling of Pen Island. That was kind of funny. The Island of Camelot. I like that one. We're going to name it the Island of Camelot. Actually, on second thought, we shouldn't. Camelot is a silly place. But these were two of my favorites. Um, mainly because of how we've named, we named, well, I named this the Floridian Peninsula. Right, because I'm from Florida, live in Florida, and uh, you know it's it's peninsula, so it has that in common with Florida. But here's what really kind of this is where I think the two best choices came about, simply because of this. Now I want you to keep in mind I have four days and about 21 hours in this stage of the alpha. Then they're going to update the game, and we'll reset the series. In which case, I'm going to get a lot of filming in this location. Fear not. But they're saying this is Florida. One of the suggestions was Cuba. I thought that one was pretty good because, you know, right off the coast of Florida is Cuba. However, the one that took the cake 
was as we crossed this bridge, the person suggested that we name the island Key West. Because, and this is the seven mile bridge from Florida to Key West. So, it's going to be named Key West. That one, that one won the contest. That was pretty cool. And I think we're going to build a cabin on here. Now, at current, I only have a couple hours to play. And when I built this bridge, it literally took me two to three hours just to cut down trees and build a bridge. I edited a lot of that out for you guys because I thought it was going to be kind of just boring to see trees repeatedly chopped down because of... Oh, these aren't poison berries. I thought the twins were the poison berries. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. We need lizard armor. But um but here's the other thing. I'm going to put this on the screen. Um someone on my Twitter made a drawing of what they sh thought the fort island should be. So that's going to be the next step of the interactive process here is I'm going to be accepting ideas like designs and you can just pencil them in on a piece of paper, make them in MS Paint, whatever. Share with me them on Twitter. And the one that I like the best, I'm going to build on Key West Island. Um, there may be other nicknames, but ge geographically speaking, I thought Seven Mile Bridge, Florida and Peninsula, Key West, it just it just flows. So, now it's time to get to <laughs> that bird took off at the right moment. Although I think at this stage in the game, they won't get burnt. We explored the village over there. We explored a lot around these last two episodes. And I've been trying to find the fuselage. No, I found the fus rear fuselage of the plane, but I have not been able to find the cockpit. If anyone has any suggestions or tips on how to find the cockpit, I'm all ears. As per usual, let me know in the comments. Um, but yes, I'm going to have my Twitter. My Twitter is always linked in the video description. I really would like... I think that would be a lot of fun to like get a lot of different designs. Come here, lizard. Oh man, I hate the overhand swing. It slows you down. Yeah, we're low on stamina because of the cold. All right. Um, it's just sapping our. Hello, little bunny. Shh, I'm hunting wabbits. That was one of the comments. Thought that was funny. Man, I, I'm really enjoying reading the comments section. You guys have been blowing it up in recent episodes. Really, really cool stuff. All right. Come here, bunny rabbit. Damn, the overhand. Look at us. Getting all tired and shit. can barely see that. I'm going to have to edit the... Oh, one of the suggestions was to lower the in-game volume a bit. I'm going to do that a bit. Um, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, as this is an interactive series, the more you comment, the more suggestions you make, the greater the chance they will be implemented. Now, we need to cook already. And we're going to save to get out of this cold, frigid nighttime. And um, I think we're going we're gonna to wait on the island because of the contest. And um, let's cook a lizard. Someone suggested or made the comment that you can only carry one lizard and one bunny at a time. I'm not sure if that's entirely correct. E. If you know what that means, like, did did I pick up those berries and am I growing them? Because it makes you wonder, right now at this stage in Alpha, it's not necessarily intuitive. You don't really know when it comes to gardening. And this rabbit trap, someone, people were saying that I need to put two rabbits. Um, thought the effigy was an other for a second. Um, that you have to put two rabbits in the trap, but I don't know how to put them there. Like... The only interaction I can have with a rabbit at this point is killing them and then cooking them and eating them. So I'm not entirely sure, you know, how to do that, the whole rabbit trap. I was thinking of maybe build one out here. Let's check out our noose traps. They're still good to go. I caught a lady in it the last time. And there is that village over there um, that we explored. So... I got this Mountain Dew Kickstart stuff for some caffeination. It's pretty good. But 
that is in this game we fuel ourselves with uh, lizards bunnies berries candy bars and in real life I fuel this series with caffeine I believe on this island over there there is uh, an others camp Womp, womp, womp. What is that? It's Alpha. On one of these islands, anyway. I believe it's this one. Pretty sure. We're gonna swim over there. If we can. Because it's derpy. Derpy Alpha. So, someone also asked. Reading over the comments. That's what I was doing for like an hour or two today. A lot of comments to read over. Fun. Um, was, why do I call them the others? And it's from Lost. Lost was a TV show that I was absolutely obsessed with for the first two seasons. Strangely enough, I actually watched season two prior to season one. Uh, I don't even know why. Uh, I think I missed the first one and then it was on TV and I watched it with my friends. Um, and like, I was hooked on it. Like, it's, it's also one of the reasons why I love the survival post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic slash survival slash survival horror type games like this, Rust, Stomping Land. Also, quick note, if you're, a lot of you guys I've noticed have been binge watching this series as you've discovered it, which nothing makes me happier than to find that out. Like, oh, here we go. See, there's there's the tents. There's the, um, and others little village. I wanted to explore that. And this is on an area if I were to keep going, I would get that little invisible barrier saying this area of the map is unplayable at this stage in Alpha. Because it's kind of like two giant islands. This is the a little bit smaller one when I look at the map. And I have it up on the other screen. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. For those of you who binge watch this stuff, um, as you wait, if you've already gone through the whole series, I highly encourage you to check out the Stomping Land series I have. Links in the video description and on my channel. It's everywhere. So what's over here? Be fun to find some loot. Yeah, so that should be able to tide you over. Cause I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking you guys may want like what do you think? At least like two episodes a day. Cause I've noticed there's just been you guys have been eating it up. And I love making the series aside from those sessions when I have to cut down trees for hours but it's just kinda how it goes that's what I do for the series oh look at these flowers see like you collect them but they're not really in your inventory but I think if I were to make a planters box I could then um, use them you know or plant them rather of course I could use them I guess but it's very strange you still swim slow as tits for uh the island of tits, fort tits, those suggestions have been made as a result of that usually being my word of choice in place of most curse words. <laughs> ah, but stuff's kind of too good actually. I try to stay away from caffeine, but when I know I gotta get some gameplay done. We imbibe in the caffeine. Look at how slow I swim, and you can't sprint at all. And I think it's I it's slowly taking away stamina. So we're going to be building around Fort Wilderness. Fort Wilderness is our main lodging. To build on Key West Island would take forever. And I'm going to save that probably for tomorrow. Um when I have a lot of time because there's gonna be hours of chopping down trees which I will edit out so I'll have to, I'll play hours more to get good footage for you guys but this game though man I cannot wait to see how they develop it because there's been a lot of games that have come out like in this whole like you know pay to play early type stuff and there's been a lot of flops there have been a lot of flops this game, though, it's so unique. I think it's very unique anyway. Um, and I'm really looking for co-op to get a play with my friends. And then really expedite the whole building, chopping down process. But it's it's one of those things that's just fundamental in a survival gameplay. You know, in a survival style game. 
is the amount of time it takes to build things or to get up to a sustainable level. It needs to be a challenge or these games kind of lure a little bit of their allure. You know, if, if it's too easy and it's a survival game, is it really a survival game? All right, so we'll light the effigy. So we got a plan. I know I want a wall section. I think we're gonna make an, a wall all the way around this side because this is the part that usually gets attacked. Put a door in it. Chop down some of these leaves. Get them out of the way. And there have been requests for the defensive walls. So that is definitely what I, I, I want to build here. Now do I want to build a door here first? That's the question. Probably not. Alright, and now we're going to build this way. No, I don't want it that way. Why are you locking in that way? So wonky. Thunder! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Alpha. <laughs> That should work. It looks flush for the most part. And now we'll just build a little bit that way. I know we're going to want a door at, at some point. Because this will be kind of the outer wall. It's a shame I don't have a door here now, but at the time it was just a necessity to get the wall sections up. So, I guess the question of the day is... Uh, fans of these survival type games, right? Oh, ooh, that is not good. That is not. That is a weird wall. Although it does look pretty badass, because it's like sticking out, kind of like more like a palisade type. But I don't know how it's it'll it'll bork up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about that, did we? This is so, this is so tricky, because of the sloping and the alphaness. <laughs> oh god! All right, and it's it's transparent. This is a little difficult to see. Actually, we're gonna go around again and make it a little more. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's the best we're gonna. Let's see. Yeah, there's still room. And then we'll come back this way again. Why not? Yeah. And I don't want to lock in that way. I don't even know how you can lock in that way. Let's check that out. How does this look? It's going to be tricky. Cut in. Because I'm thinking for the overall design here, since you guys are going to get a design, the fort on the island, on this side I'm going to have a gatehouse connected to this whole walled compound. Um, I'll probably make, at some point, m maybe a keep. But with four days and 21 hours, we really have to prioritize our building. So I'm going to continue to come this way. Yeah, we may not get a build but the cool thing about it is there's a lot more islands in other locations that would be really fun to build on um, around this map and who knows what's gonna happen in the next stages of alpha there's been a lot of suggestions for houseboats and I know I want to build a houseboat and see what that's like there's an area I'm particularly interested in for the next alpha patch depending on what we can build but I could also make that interactive by uh, kind of uh, starting a slam, maybe. No, this looks pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna go a little bit more. We're gonna go to here and then put one section in, and then we're gonna stop, build that up, and that will be the goal for this this here episode. So I need to start. Yeah, I need to start doing this. 
No, 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 no. Bad. Bad walls. Is it raining outside? I believe so. Did that work? Hell yeah! Sometimes you just gotta wing it, guys. Alright, just one more here, and then we'll curve in. Curve in at a 90 degree angle, and we will stop it. This, this appears to be in order. I don't think that's flush. That works. Pretty sure they did that. All right, now we gotta come in here. And then we'll just have the gatehouse on the point. This wall will come around here. We'll put a door in, yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Look at that, there's a patrol going by. They can't see me through my camouflaged fences. If they come over here, there's gonna be hell to pay. This is my island. All right, we're gonna put that. No, 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 bad fence, bad fence. This is, this is harder than it looks, I can assure you. Because it likes to just do what it wants, and I want it to do what I want. Nope, we're almost there. Nope, almost there. Stay on target. Stay on target. I think we got that. Yeah, there's like a hair-thin crack in that. It's good enough for government work. Now we're going to put the door right there. And we'll put another wall. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm liking that. Fort Wilderness needs to have these pencil walls to make it look more um, defendable. All right, it's time to get to work. Unfortunately, I think trees grow back slow. There's a patrol coming this way. And I don't really want to deal with them. I don't think I really have to deal with them, honestly. So let's see, how many logs is that going to be? Not sure where they're going though with that patrol. Kind of straight for Fort Wilderness. We can fight them, but I imagine if they escape, they'll just bring more of their others' friends over here. So, six logs. How many did we make? This is like probably 80 logs, man. Peekaboo! Oh shit. Come and get it. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have moved when they charge. I've been studying their ways and I find in many cases if you don't move when they charge, they will be scared. You see what I do with fire? I control fire and I control rain. If only I had a flare gun. What you doing? Sup? Look, now they like show me their butts. I don't know if that's an act of submission or what. Nope. No, thank you. Oh shit. All right, guys. I kind of got to get to work. So if you'd be so kind as to get off my property, that'd be nice. Look at our stamina, just dead again. Do we have, we have a rabbit? We're gonna need to hunt a bit. Cook up some food, look at that. Hey. All right. I did a little bit. Cook up this old rabbit. And once that's ready, we will need to cook a little bit, and we're going to have to chop down a crap ton of trees. Well, that is for sure. We'll put the door in first on the one side, and then we'll start from the far side so we have the frame up for the door. Okay, good. Whew. Thought I may have burnt my bunny. Yeah, go away. You ain't welcome here. Looks pretty good, though 
build kind of a walled in area. You'd be surprised how much time it takes to build this though. It's kind of nuts. And we're going to be, and this is the thing, is like, you're cutting down logs under under threat the whole time. Look, this guy wants to have a party. Hey. Hey. Are you, are you sufficiently satisfied with yourself? Let's see what happens. If I just like, oh, you mad, son. You are mad. Muhammad Ali over here. Yeah, now it's time to run away. That was cool. I haven't seen him climb the trees in a while. Maybe I could lure him over here. I could chop down his tree. What you doing up there? What you doing? You little squirrel man. I don't know what happens if you chop down a tree while they're in it. <laughs> I'm curious to find out. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, okay. Bringing in your friends here. Man, this is why it takes so long to build here. Oh, man. They're getting frisky. See, I wish you could put up, like, punji steaks. Yeah, yeah, you guys are acrobatic and all that cool stuff. whoop de doo da Yep. That's what I do. You guys gonna leave or what? Are you afraid of me? This is my territory. I wish I could recruit them to cut down the logs. Sup, sup, sup. Come and get it. Come and get it. So I've heard that like their... <laughs> the way they act is different. Look at that seatbelt. Oh, he's on fire. Now we just need this one to get on fire. Come on, titties. Come on, titties. Aw, oh, they're running. Nope. Alright, two down. <laughs> there we go. Now we can go about our day. Because I think I'm pretty sure the lady ran off. Alright, so there's the tree I was chopping down. But yeah, the others act different during the night time and the daytime. They're more aggressive at night, which kind of likens it to the Minecraft, um, for lack of a better reference, dynamic where at night, you know, the creepers, the zombies, spiders, all that stuff comes. And, uh... So yeah, you know, at night, a little more dangerous. Covered in blood. So the thing to the left of the stomach, I'm thinking it is a, what would you call it? Thermometer to kind of indicate um, if you're sick or not, like you'd get a fever. I haven't gotten sick. I'm not sure if it's in the game at this point. Where's the other log that I dropped? Weird. Here's one. This is how I usually do it. This is the this is the process. Um, as I drop them all down there, chop down a number of trees, and then once you have a, a, a number of wood, like when I did with that bridge, I would chop down like probably six, seven trees at a time. At night, it's a little more difficult to see them, and once you pick them up, they don't really shine as much, so I want to get the doorway up first. I need three more. I got should have a decent amount. Should have anywhere between eight and ten from that uh, first tree we chopped out. But I hate how they don't shine anymore, and at night it's difficult. And I don't really want to save it because I feel like once you save it, all the loose stuff kind of disappears. But once we get all this logs, we're going to do the whole quick save, um, sleep save. Yeah, look at this. This is terrible. I usually just spam E. Looking for the logs. Maybe the water thing. It, it worked really well the first couple times. Where's my... 
Yeah, I can't see shit right now. That guy is glitched out. Not gonna attack him for fear of the exploding cannibal glitch. All right. With this, we'll get the doorway up and then we'll just call it, um, you know, we're gonna give up on those other logs. I'm not gonna look through them in the dark. We'll chop down more trees. We'll save and we'll see if this guy comes out. That could be some kind of an alpha bug or not. People said check the bunny pen. There's just no bunnies out. I'm not sure how that works. Because I can't physically catch a bunny without killing it. I'll do a quick few saves. That looks like daylight's coming. Get back to work. Glitch zombie's still there. And by zombie, I mean cannibal. Whoa! Talk about freaky, man! This lady was just hanging out. Like, <laughs> waiting for me. <laughs> in the water that was kind of chilling to be perfectly honest all right will you just like attack me already and like run into the fire and burn up and die and we can just get on our way now you see think about that i've gotten one section of that wall in and i've had to deal with these people i need i need um like h1z when i was watching this thing the other day and they were about crafting bows and arrows no, lady. Alright, titties. Perry! Hey! Scare! Get tomahawk, lady! They take so many hits. Alright, I hope you just die. You're drowning. She's dead. I think I might want to do one more save just to make it a little lighter out here. And then, I think, do we have to hunt? I think we actually have to hunt real quick. Man, it's still dark. All right, buddy. No. <laughs> no siree, Bob. Well, that's the moon. Meaning it's nighttime. Now the moon sh Hmm, really? If the moon is in the same place, oh my god. Or I wonder if it's like if there's others around. I don't even know, guys. I really just don't. We gotta get to work on fortifying. I think it kind of moves up. Or it could be that there's, since there's others around, you can't really sleep safe because you can't oh well you're on fire so that works and I don't want to kill this guy because what's what's he doing what he just blew up all right now we're gonna try to sleep because that lady's gone well titties died titties number 86 probably at this point all right that seemed to work I feel like it's just about to break day all right, there we go, there's a bunny. We prefer lizards, because lizards give skin, which you can then use for armor. We have enough, we have enough stuff for an effigy. Hey. I, sh I could build a, a bigger effigy. There we go, there's a lizard. Yep, so if you're new, if you look in the bottom left corner here, this little yellow bar just went up. That's your armor bar. So that is why lizards are superior. They create armor and health sustenance. So I'm going to chop down some more trees. I'm going to skip that part. Um, and I'll keep you updated as, as we put a little more logs on the wall. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've chopped a crap ton of trees down. A decent amount have rolled down into this lake, kind of the catching reservoir, and then a lot of them are still on that hill there. 
We have plenty of lumber. There was a little patrol. They're kind of investigating the trees right now. I'm going to have to light this fire on the effigy. Kind of keep them less interested in this area. Did he already run off? That was interesting. We're going to go get this lizard. There's another one. Hey, that's a dead bunny rabbit. All right. So this is kind of why I like this spot. One of the pros is like you can see here, they just kind of a decent amount of them will just roll down. None of them will roll away. They all kind of fall in line into this area, which you can then pick them up. Hey, tits. You look like you're having a bad day down there. Um, so overall, it's a pretty good spot for construction. Still building up. Chopped down a lot of trees. Stamina's still good. You still have to kind of juggle sprinting and we're gonna yeah we're gonna move them a little more have them roll down the hill so it's easier they're not really rolling because they kind of fall on top of each other so maybe theoretically whoa that one kind of worked theoretically it worked <laughs> but in practice not so much there's a patrol running by Fort Wilderness and they're kind of freaking out. Get in the noose trap. Ah, oh. There was three of them, I thought. Yeah. So we've got two sections done. Still getting all this. Avoiding the patrols that are running by for wilderness. They're probably freaking out, man. Oh, that, that noose trap is like almost perfectly placed. Almost. I guess if you were to really observe. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I guess it may be going that way, so it's fine. It's fine. Are there any in the water? Because they're harder to see now. They don't flash. And here's one. Make that two. Alright, and then the rest are still on the hill. So. I want to know what games are you guys interested in in terms of like the survival survivor horror games um, and then post apocalyptic type survival games like I have my stomping land series up which is a lot of fun what I call the carno quest right now if you watch that playlist from beginning to end you'll want to buy that game it's fun and that's also another game that's only an alpha it came out the same day that this one did and it was at a higher price, and I think that affected um, its sales, to be perfectly honest. It's fun. It's not as, as much in an uh, advanced state of alpha development, I guess you could say, as a game like this one, The Forest, is. But it's still really good. And to be perfectly honest, dinosaurs, man. Like, that's really... It's Daisy with dinosaurs is what I like to think of it as. Lizard, you're running too far. All right, we gotta make a little, little cooking fire out here. Come here, lizard. I want some armor. All right, cause that is what sustains us. So we'll pick up this more. May make a little cooking fire out here, which, if we if sh shit starts hitting the fan, we could, or if titties start hitting the fan, um, I know, right? Try to imagine that doesn't sound very nice and it's not um, then we could always trick them into walking in the fire but the wall sections are coming in this this probably won't take as long as I thought all right guys so I chopped down a couple more trees there was a patrol over by that other pile so I decided to just chop down some more of these and I think that if you were to pick the logs up one at a time and drop them, like I've been doing here, they kind of roll down better. But we've got lots of logs just rolling straight up pretty much to our construction site. So that is good. Makes it, it expedites the process. And that's what we're really about. I don't, 
I don't wish to use your hand as a mortar. Mortar paste. Alright, I would like to pick that up. There it is. That's what we're talking about here. Florida is getting... Get out of here, hand. We don't want your... We don't want that here. Alright. So, I mean, if there's a... There's a animal in front of us. We're gonna kill it because, you know, I don't want to. I don't like having to chase them down. All right, nice. Progress is coming along a lot quicker than the bridge. The bridge was a lot more logs. To be perfectly honest, it took a long time. There should be some logs. Lizards galore. Down here, the monitor lizards aren't in real life, aren't they? Don't they have poisonous saliva? I thought they did, which makes them kind of dangerous. Maybe in later patches, like bunnies provide food, right? You think about it. Um, bunnies provide food, lizards provide food and armor, so there should be, or there could be rather, kind of a, a cost cost of you know cost effective analysis you'd go through like I could get poisoned if I attack this monitor lizard he may bite me you know it obviously wouldn't be a threat to your uh, swimming hands creepy but you know you may have to question whether you want to go after a lizard like oh, okay I'm fully armored but or I'm very vulnerable at this point I want armor but maybe I shouldn't maybe you could get like a spear a distance weapon as opposed to using a hatchet you know just fun stuff to muse about look at these flailing arms man yeah we're about halfway done with this wall section pretty pleased with it so far and I I no longer think dumping the logs into the water is a good idea just because it's kinda difficult to find them and so we're gonna have to cut down even more trees. Look at that. This one's not even blinking anymore. That's weird. See, if you had three people, I think you could have a pretty good system. And it looks like they may be praying over there, worshipping. They like to worship the sun, these others do. Um, but if you had three people, what I would do, kind of logistically speaking, is I'd have one guy cutting down the trees... The other guy would be making maybe one or two log holders for the entire, like, camp. I don't think you'd need more. Um, and he would also be fetching the wood. So one guy's on automatic, you know, cutting duty. He's the lumberjack. The other one's bringing the logs back and forth. And then the other person is placing them. I think that would be a pretty good system to have. It would make it quick. And that's kind of the fun stuff I think about, like, you know, in games like this, Rust, Minecraft, all that, is when you have a system and you have a team to building things faster. But as far as survival games that I'm really looking forward to, H1Z1, the big Rust patch, um, I still enjoy playing Minecraft and stuff like that. Um, Stomping Land and this, obviously, are the main ones. I'd still, I'd still be interested in playing Seven Days to Die and DayZ2. Alright, so we need to cut down more trees, and we have a patrol, so I will get back to you shortly. Damn! We just got ambushed here. By one of those others. Came out of nowhere. Snuck up on me. Look at him being all ninja-like. Alright guys, so with that, I'm going to have to let you, let you go till next episode. This one's kind of drawn on a bit since it's a construction episode uh, but stay tuned for more make sure to like favorite share that stuff really helps me out hey dude and with that as I cut this guy's jugular and his blood spews everywhere it's a very hostile island you are not welcome here all right all right all right all right the white face ones Seem a little more ferocious. Hiya! Alright, since he's in a wall, 
We don't want a dead body glitch. Anyway, my name is Baron. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes here at Fort Wilderness in Baron Survives the Forest. Like, share, favorite. It really helps me out. And um, let's hear what you guys have for the question of the day. Survival games you guys are looking for. And also remember the Twitter thing. Uh, if you have any fort designs, MS Paint, simple drawings, take a picture of them. Twitter's so easy to share stuff. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And next episode, we're going to finish that and maybe build up a little more. Maybe a few more traps. Who knows? See you soon. Next time on Baron Plays the Forest. Check this guy out. Step off, son. Alright, it's time to go fight. Around here, I guess. It's nighttime, too. Oh. I control fire. We'll burn you. Alright, you're gonna walk right into me. Because he keeps just kind of aggroing to me. Hey, bud. You dead, son. You mad? He's mad. 